Hi everybody, it's Lindsay Malloy and welcome back to my channel. This week I am doing a plan with me and my B6 planner. These are the Jacenia's printables, um, B6 size on four pages. And I am planning this week of June 18th through the 24th. And the kit that I'm using this week is super cute. It's this Limoncello um, kit from Minted Papery. And I thought this would be perfect for really the start of summer, the official start of summer. Um, so it's got beautiful lemon stickers on here. Um, I saved the washi for my um, Erin Condren because I plan on using my new Erin Condren that starts in July for memory keeping. So I I'm, I'm, won't be using those, but I will be using lots of these washi strips. Um, and it's just a really beautiful kit. Very simple. Um, it just seems calm, serene, fresh. It's just gorgeous. So yeah, I pulled out a couple little skinny washies um, to use to kind of use just in case if I need some washi. Um, it's this first little, it has little gold foil ampersands on it, um, but it's this beautiful little yellow color. And then this orangish yellow color kind of pulls out that dark orange color from the lemons. Um, so pulled those out just in case. And then I have my um, trusty little book of character stickers and things like that. So I have this. I did upgrade this to the expander um, discs from Happy Planner. Um, so now I have room to add some more pages because before I didn't have any room to add any more. Um, now I have some more room to add some. So I'll be flipping through those to use as well. So as usual, um, I am a very slow planner. So I am going to do a speed through. Um, mainly the main reason for that is because it'll take me like 30, 45 minutes to put all these down because I like to be methodical about the way that I put my stickers down. So um, that's the main reason why I speed up. Maybe one day I'll do a super long video and show you um, what it what it's like just to plan and you can plan with me literally um, throughout the whole thing. But for now, I will do start the speed through. Hello, everybody. All right, so I'm getting started with the glitter headers again. I'm using the same glitter header pack that I um, used the past couple weeks. It is from Scribble Prints Co. And I'm just using this blue color that um, kind of matches the kit. Then just cutting down my um, the full checklists, the full box checklist. And the, that's, again, where I'm going to put my calls for work. Um, again, if you are new to my channel, um, I plan almost the same every week. Um, I plan out with my calls at the top, and then I have a to-do list underneath. And then I use the bottom space kind of for more um, personal things. So, um, and then the to-do list is also a little bit personal too. So, but for the top, those full checklists are 100% just for work. This week I wanted to change up rather than just using the same header over and over again. So I end up using little things to do and today and kind of switch them out, out um, through each day and then kind of... Um, mix up the colors a little bit and then the header is kind of the color that I carry out throughout the day so just put those down um, over on my sidebar I like to put um, either a this week header or a little things header and then I put down the kind of full week checklist thing and I put happy thoughts in there for every day and then uh, there was three habit trackers in the kit, so I put down all three of those. And then just adding in the food for the dinners, because I like to track my dinners every single day. I also have a happy planner, or happy planner a fitness and food planner. Um, so I would also do write like breakfast and lunch and snacks and anything else in there. Um, but this, the dinners in this planner are more for planning out the week um, 
for dinners because usually lunches are leftovers. So um, now just adding the headers at the top. I thought these were really cute and simple, so I wanted to use them. Um, they were a little bit tall, so I have to actually, that's my dog. <laughs> I have to actually um, cut them down a little bit. And so you can see the kind of off screen that I did that and just trimmed it a little bit. So they're a little bit shorter and they're not peeking up over the top. Then on the weekend, um, I don't need the full space. So I ended up just scooting them down a little bit so I didn't have to trim them. That one I had to trim a little bit, but anyways. Now back to the week. Um, I just want to go through and figure out how I'm going to add um, just little things here and there. At work, we have summer Fridays where we don't have any meetings after a certain time. Um, it's I work East Coast time, so I actually get off at noon um, from calls. Either you get off or you do a team activity or something like that. But since I am not in the office... Um, I usually just take the afternoon off because things are slower in the summertime. Now just using some half boxes for the days that I want to go to my group fitness gym and um, cutting down this full box. I think these full boxes are just absolutely gorgeous. Um, cutting those down to fill in the blank space. And then using some little washi strips here, um, just because I thought they looked really cute with the little stripes and it kind of brings down that top, those top headers a bit. And I wanted to use this simple little full box over on the sidebar. And then um, just marking down what I'm currently reading for this week. Um, it was a little crooked, so I gotta fix that. And this week I am, I was, I started reading the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, but I just, I don't know, I wasn't getting into it. So I started reading The Handmaid's Tale because I just recently picked that up. Um, so yeah, now I'm just marking down under the notes section, I like to mark um, dinners for that I use to meal pl plan for the following week. Um, and then just covering up a little bit of those titles for those sections. In the middle box, I like to mark what happy mail I'm expecting. Um, my husband and I are doing some major budgeting, budget readjusting though. So I'm not expecting too much happy mail and I am pl don't plan on expecting too much. And I actually plan on doing um, more printable planner kits when I do need to get more planner kits. Um, just because they are cheaper and they're, um, I do have a silhouette and I have sticker paper. So I just, I feel like that's something that we need to do, um, is just readjust the way that we're spending and really start saving, um, for the future and for all the things that we want to do around the house and things like that. Um, so yeah, over here on the right, I'm, I'm doing something a little bit different. I wanted to just have this little space and put a quote on top actually from the happy planner stickers. Um, so that's where I'm going right now. Um, and I got this little sticker. Uh, so it's just a sideways full box and some of that washi tape that I showed you at the beginning. And then just a little um, plan your dreams quote. Then I do my usual full boxes at the, at the top on the weekends. And then I do one to-do list for the entire weekend. And usually it's late or lately it's turned into more of like a memory keeping section rather than an actual to-do list. Um, and then just adding that cute little weekend banner at the top. Um, then there was this little script sticker that said Sunday Fun Day in the kit. And I just add those little balloons next to it. I think this Sunday we're planning on just taking a break from working on the yard. Um, so it really will be a Sunday Fun Day. So I'm hoping um, it shall be fun. Um, probably maybe go to the pool or we might go kayaking, something like that. Then over here on the right, where this priority section was, I wanted to do something different. Since I'm doing a plan with me and editing and uploading every week, I wanted to use these once more with love icons, um, munchkins, 
and use them to signify what I'm filming, what I need to edit, and what when I'm uploading or when I'm scheduling something. Then going back to Sunday, I mark down with a little TV icon and the little hearts what um, TV shows will be coming on on the weekend. And I actually, looking back, I need to add one more. I've been watching the Food Network Star, and I didn't mark that down because that airs on Sundays as well. So I need to go back and actually add that now that I'm thinking about it. Great. <laughs> I don't have another heart, so I might have to use like an asterisk, asterisk or something. Then um, I'm just kind of seeing what I want to do next um, and to fill the space. I don't actually end up filling anything in over on the right side. And then I decide since I don't have a lot of happy mail, I'm going to change my mind and I'm going to do, I'm going to mark me time in that happy mail where I usually put happy mail. So, and oh, and that happy mail or that face wash sticker was from Happy Daya. Then just marking my Wednesday laundry day, I usually do lots of laundry there. Um, used a sticky fox here. Um, in person, he's not as bright orange. I don't know why he looks like that on the screen, but whatever. Um, so then, um, just adding in a marker for Tuesday and Thursday, cause I know I want to mark down, um, if I go on a walk or if I go swimming or something. Um, and then on Saturday, just marking down, I want to have a movie night with my husband. And then I wanted to do a little bit more of cuter lettering, um, throughout the week. So on Monday I put, but first coffee. And I used a little coffee icon from the kit. Because most of the time my, um, my, um, whatchamacallit, <laughs> my to-dos, things that I write down are just, are not that fancily written, really. So, um, so yeah. Then just lettering in my three habits that I want to track, my vitamins, reading, um, and then closing all the rings on my Apple Watch. And that's about it. Awesome. Okay. Well, thank you for watching um, and making it this far into the plane with me, if you have. Um, I really liked how this turned out with just the bright colors. I've even brought in a little orange sticky box. Orange doesn't quite match up with it, but he's still cute there. I thought it would add a little bit of color, um, especially when I add throughout the week, I'll add more characters. Um, I'm testing out something different this week in the back here. I'm going to just more of like a memory keeping section here. Um, this will be my happy thought and then this will be um, like what face mask I use this week or something like that. So. It'll just be some to mark down some of the me time that I do. Um, let's see. Oh, I want to add another Happy Daya sticker actually to remind myself to water my plants. Um, this one is super cute. And I water my plants on Saturdays. So I might actually do it on Sunday. And then right in water and then do some cursive water plants and oh, I made it a little too low so I'm going to do some dot accents. Okay. That's cute. Love it. And then I'll leave this space kind of just open for whatever. Um, maybe if I need to put something there for grocery shopping. I don't know. We usually do grocery shopping or like Costco runs and stuff here. Um, and then I have a Costco sticker from Plans with Vanessa, but I'm not sure if we're going this weekend, for this weekend, so I don't wanna put it down yet. Um, so yeah, I think the weekend looks pretty filled in. I wanna try and do more lettering with my to-dos and things, um, and just kinda perk up my planner a little bit. 
Um, and also just practicing different lettering. So the lettering that I usually do is just a tiny font, um, a little bit of cursive, or this kind of almost block lettering um, either with the stripes or without. So um, I want to explore different different texts maybe. I don't know. Or maybe I'll just stick with those three because then they look really good all together and not too much going on. You know what I mean? Um, so yeah. Um, dinner section. Over here is another spot that I've done differently than my previous weeks because I literally... Over here is something that I've done differently than I have done in previous weeks, because um, over here I've literally, I don't use this section um, ever, really. Um, so I still don't use this these long lists. I'm not sure what I'm gonna use it for. I kind of just use it for scratch paper if I need it, or notes if I need to quickly jot something down. Um, so yeah, that's it's not really used too much, um, but yeah. Over here, every week I'm filming a plan with me or some sort of planner related video or some other video even. And so I wanted to kind of utilize this space since it's a three step process um, and use these three boxes. So put film and I'll write in what videos I filmed and then edit in the voiceover and then upload. I'll probably put maybe my schedule time because I do upload um, and schedule for Sunday mornings most of the time. Otherwise, I upload on like Mondays or Tuesdays when I edit um, the following weeks. So I think that looks pretty good so far. I also use this sticker from Happy Planner, um, the productivity. So yeah, I think this one looks really cute. And I have quite a bit of leftovers, especially with the washi, the full boxes, pretty much all the icons, only one checklist left. Um, I've got all these headers. Um, I got one more of these glitter headers from Scribble Prints Co. left. And then I have two full, um, full box checklist things, but I could always like cut these down or something like that instead of having the border, um, if I wanted to use the rest of those. So that's all that's left with those. And yeah, I think it looks pretty cute. Um, make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like this layout and subscribe and I will see you next time. Bye!